Nice little intro. Well, I didn't want to start anything. I wanted to... I was afraid there going to be a cinematic beforehand. Welcome, everybody, to Biomutant, game 25. intro but well yeah welcome to biomutant game number 25 this is a game that i have wanted to play for a very long time uh, i follow this game pretty much from its announcement to uh how can something as beautiful as this be dying? it's released a plague is ruining the land but the tree of life still stands question is for how long end is coming to the new world the tribes stand divided in need of someone strong enough to unite them or bring them all down this is a story with an unusual beginning so let's expect an unusual end welcome to biomutant all right so let's look at some stuff real quick Some of this stuff might be need to adjust it after playing some. Oh, you can map everything out. Interesting. New game. Playing on easy. I play everything on easy. I like to have just easy, relaxed game experiences. I don't like to have much difficulty going through stuff. Yeah, this is a game that I have uh encode your Oof. DNA. Oh. Well, that's kind of Some of these are terrifying. All right, we'll read these off. Primal is a nimble, developed, anamorphic breed, a hybrid with a gene mutation making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of a lesser developed intellect. Dumdon is the least developed anamorphic breed, a hybrid offshoot that compensates the lack of mental progress with physical strength. So they the toughies. Rex is an extraordinary developed anamorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with an even DNA stream, making it apt for both physical and mental challenges. I'm leaning toward this because that face is adorable. Hilia, a regenerative developed, regenerative developed anamorphic breed, a hybrid gene mutation, making them extremely tough and resilient. The FIP, the FIP, Breed is renowned for highly evolved mind. Its genius is directly interlinked to the power of key, which amplifies their bionic output. And Murgle is the definition of an idealized breed. Its evolutionary lineage has gone in a direction where form and appearance have dominated over function. I like Rex. I'm like either Rex or Primal because I like the I I I like sorry. I like the original critter on Biomutant. I, I wanted to play as it. I'm going to pick Rex. Melee damage is down, though. Like, how much... How much worse than Primal? 
Going Rex. Screw it. Define your character's starting attributes to see more detailed explanations of what effect each attribute has. Define your genetic structure. Oh my god, what happened to this poor head? Oh, if it's really weak, it's adorable. I want something a little bit more like Oh my god, look at those chubby cheekers. Look at those chubby cheekers. Thinking somewhere around in here, maybe. Charisma. No. At this point, I'm like, you know, I'm just going to go off of base stuff what I think is adorable. I mean, that's pretty cute right there. I don't want my character to be dumb, though. Weird. I like them chubby cheekers. That's what I'm doing with. Choose a genetic resilience. I don't know. Can we find like a nice little in between of everybody. Like, how do I know what I'm going to come across? You know what I mean? Whatever. Choose your first style. Aww. Ooh. Very cool. I like that. I have to try to remember where that's at. I'm a fan of this. Pick your main color. I can go purple. Ooh, I can do, can I do green. Green. I kind of like more the more realistic look though. I'm gonna go for more a little bit more of a realistic look. Choose your detail color. Whoa. Very cool. Pick a class. Dead Eye Commando. Commando. Cypher. Oh, neat. Saboteur. Sentinel. Commander. Dead Eye is a tricky, skillful rogue who's chosen a life outside the law and society values. Commando is a trained and operative. The trained as an operative of an elite special ops force. Commandos use to work with smaller teams. Tricks are experimental with psionic powers. And mutations. They're usually outcasts on the fringe of society. Saboteur is cunning, skilled, explorer, trained to operate convert, uh, covertly in both suburbs and wilderness. Sentinel, Sentinel. Dedicate, dedicate themselves to protect a house. Uh, I like Dead Eye. Dead Eye. Dead Eye chosen. Sure. Sounds good. So, um. Here's somebody with a troubled past. This is a game that I have of a story that's already begun. 
We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. Sorry, uh, Mad, Mad Kink, I was doing the whole thing, so I, uh... I uh, wasn't paying attention. So you picked Saboteur? Nice. What breed did you pick? Choosing a path in life. But for you, it's I'm not dark. only a crossroad, but a choice. As in strength and power. Of your key, Color me the light for freedom and loyalty. I like... Everything. I'm gonna go the freedom and loyalty, Wrath. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you. Or your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Hmm. That's right. Light is only for those having difficulty seeing what's in front of them. Sticking to the me first path is the only way we'll learn places. Uh, I'm surprised at the change of heart. I believe in putting yourself aside to help others, but helping the dark side is not that, you know. You can't fight who you really are. The blood is obviously running red in our veins. You're trying to keep us in the dark here, but you know it's blue blood in our veins and what it means. We have responsibilities. You can't fight the truth. Uh. Okay. Right is always right. <laughs> sure. I've, like I said, though, I've followed this game forever. I've had a. Ever since they announced it, I was like, I normally don't get excited about new games, but this game, I was like. Stories of death from the bodies left behind. Run. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. I, uh. This was a game that I was, uh. Interested in from the get-go, and I normally don't get that excited do about new games. Do you remember game. the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Ooh. Hold up now. Ow. Okay. So, um, how? Nice. I'm not going to remember any of these as the game goes on. figured a little bit out yeah this is a game that i've followed for a long time its development and uh i normally don't get that excited about games but there's something about the design of this game that i was just like this looks so cool and then uh it released and i was gonna get it and then the reviews kind of started pouring out and i was like well maybe i'll wait for a price drop i was originally gonna get this on pc I ended up grabbing on PS4 because I found it really cheap at GameStop and they were having a buy two, get one free on the used. So. Got it on the PS4. But uh, we'll see how this is. And honestly, I've been wanting to try this out ever since I did get it. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The 
predator isn't the only uh -oh. threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Our gun's not very strong. Our sword is much stronger. The Pew Pew Bosk Barada. Electric mo modal module. You found a weapon special effect add-on. Attach it to your ranged weapons to give it extra damage type for as long as the ammo lasts. Some enemies have resistance or weakness to different type of weapon specials, so use them wisely. Detach a specific weapon. Okay. In this section, you can change equipment and weapons. The circle icons represent a part of the body that can be geared up with equipment found or brought, bought from vendors. Your favorites can be saved. Oh, this is the outfits menu where you can create and save different your setups. Oof. Is that what I look like, Nike? I got some fucking shoulders on this boy, don't I? I'm somewhat light. Got a medical supply bag. Like this, contain items that help heal you. Your health doesn't automatically regenerate in combat. You have to use consumables or find other ways to heal. Okay. Okay. On a pipe wrench. That's when that's like an ultra rare item or something. Yeah, I wanted to get this game when it came out. The reviews came out, and I was just like, oh, why is everything I'm excited for end up sucking? The oil sludges the most. Remember to parry tax the L1. Ow. Close encounter. All enemies can be looted for healing items. Funky Can 
only the big guys. I'm gonna assume I can't go in the water. That's the assumption I'm gonna make here. death this way, I would assume. Scared large shield, you need to break their shields with melee attacks. Okay. What the fuck? Fucking glad I picked easy. Defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. You'll also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wong Fu and perks menu. Okay. It was kind of a pain in the butt. Getting swole. You earn upgrade points when leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Time to unlock your first special attack. I don't know if I care that much. Do it. Unlock it. If you have upgrade points, remember to spend them on perks, special attacks, and two perk me. Did. Look, an emergency box from the once was a rare summons. Old World Claw Bar. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Oh, I didn't realize I had to do something there. You're on your, you're on your way to performing a special attack. Possible special attacks are prompted in the lower right-hand corner. Okay. Whoa. 
It kind of gives you an idea of like how close you are to doing your little special attack. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Yeah, Wicked Wolf a thousand times. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating Morks and finding containers at various places in the world. You can use bio blobs to unlock special powers anytime by processing the mutations you at the point. Go to the mutations tab, unlock psi powers, biogenics, and upgrade your resistance. Uh, biogenetics, mouth use. You use mouth, moth mouth, bio bio. Basically, you can puke on enemies. An upgrade resistance. Gotcha. I don't know if I care about anything right now. Just do that. One hand after the other. Weird, because like these these like areas are like kind of big, but there's really nothing in them. Really strange. Toxinol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Rotation puzzle. You found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Two opens. Uh, some open new paths while others feature different rewards. To which which nod select. Nod has a certain position. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Hold on. It just shocked me. Did it. First try. Not gonna be good at these puzzles. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago. But it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. 
Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration that us? of the future, they dumped Are we toxin the landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Ah, so it's like Horizon Zero Dawn. Or any other post-apocalypse story. Sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. Oh, the pew, not the pew pews. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Got it. There Excellent. You Puzzle master. Albert Einstein ain't got nothing on this. The hell is that thing? Perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. They stun enemy. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Okay. suck that's the last of them let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives yeah, I should have went up that route he was up there a new friend, an old friend. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Thanks, narrator. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't. The narrator is weird. He's kind of like it's almost he like a storybook style narration. Him. You were just a child back then. The night. Everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark. A facial scar to remember the past. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to Looper your, Lupin. Bitch, your Mooma and Popsy was the beginning of the end. Your Mooma and Popsy? He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomas' disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. 
Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Mooma and Poopsie. Popsie. Okay. By default, dialogues are set to advance from one NPC line to the next automatically. However, if you want to manually change the dialogue, blah, blah, blah. Hey, look! It's me as a little tyke. Baby jumps here. That's supposed to be him. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. He understands why you came all the way out here. To see them, the potato people. Potato people? My kind of people. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. I don't believe in no magic. Magic? He claims it's just the force of life, the existence of energy, powering and connecting all things living, like the Nono. Oh my guy. You found one. You should be proud. Oh, this dude's killing me here. <laughs> Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his <sighs> intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. Hey, the world's dependent on this you need dork. To support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need I a can't get over to that. The nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The nono was sensitive. I can't get over. <laughs> you know, and not like you've never done you anything else. Like He's impressed. Like you've never done anything else. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Okay. Now that you've seen Dude, I can't. the Nono's connection with the tree with your it's own so eyes, dumb. you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone's. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Mooma will be able to protect us. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Okay. Yeah.
I just some of the this is a rated teen game, but like this feels very childish. We lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse that Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the world eaters' DNA into overdrive. Ooh. Excuse me. His friend Gizmo is working on a mecton and needs help defeating the jumbo pup at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Okay. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Keep Finally, the... Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Yeah, out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the world eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Yeah. Be good, old man. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. So if I would have went through and done that beforehand, <laughs> what would have happened? Sometimes we're gonna see that title. Is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Work on it. We're gonna to try to help. Oh, nice. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Oh my god, you pee on it? Let's see. <laughs> oh, jeez, it pees. Signposts are found near locations of interest all around the world. You'll unlock a signpost when interacting it. You fast travel to signpost you've unlocked by selecting on map. You open the map, press any time. So it really doesn't look like that big of a map. I gotta admit, the way you run is pretty damn cute. I'm gonna assume that's a world eater. That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down.
Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out of it. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the World Eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Your inner balance is two halves that complete a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. You are those who always act in the same manner. And our wholeness is the sum of the choices we make, the actions we take. The balance of your actions create your aura score, which affects the dialogue with other characters. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Interacting with captives and Psy Shrines will award you with Psy Points that you can use to unlock psionic powers. Powers can only be unlocked once you have reached the required dark or light balance. Anyway, he needs help <coughs> and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your in- He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark- We're going to be the savior of this land. I'm not going to play an evil, evil side this time around. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. <laughs> You've gained a side point. Use it to unlock side powers. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. Out of date says someone needs to... The Myriad's conviction to stop okay. the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like, like the logical thing freaked out him, for a second. He's even right doubling up the subtitles. There One it goes. Thing certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Okay, so I need to go that way. Quest tracking. Your current and started quests are shown in the journal. The top menu. <clears throat> you can change your quests you track by opening the the Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree okay, of life. Okay, so they're the... They... But siding with Jagni they're the isn't idiots. necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. I don't know what happened there. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? I don't know. Which way does it take me to the place I need to go? I'll go this one. Okay, go this way. It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. 
Most of them got flooded. You guys are friendlies, right? This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. Too bad. Well, that's cool. You can reload while you run. the myriad tribes fortress will they be friends or foe you should head up there that way you'll know i would hope friend let me pee on this thing there's like let's see some weird like weird things in this game it's a beaten path to that door if you go there you'd better make an entrance Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Says just because you've made time to meet the Sifu doesn't mean he has time for you. But you're welcome to give it a try. Better make an interest. Just come with like the heads of the ones we killed back there. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. I'm down with that. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the world eaters and saving the tree of life is the only way to make the world a I mean, that's what we've been told since the game started, so it makes sense to me, too. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense your kind hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Oh, originally, I'm a famous child. Unarmed combat and the six weapons: the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters to save the tree of life. He was hoping you'd join them. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor. And with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. Sure.
Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced war. to prepare for war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Okay. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never it will. happen. You both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rivals outposts, a lot of talking in this game. challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Steal a bunch of stuff real quick. The vendor says you can browse his goods any time during opening hours. Wants you to take your time as they're open for another couple of hours. Each vendor is specialized on a particular type of item. Melee weapon parts, ranged weapon parts, gear parts, clothes, or mounts. Going to vendors and browsing their stock can be a great way to find better parts for your gear. If you're missing a specific part to craft a weapon, you can always check the nearest vendor. You can purchase items by providing enough green. Currency is a form of a leaf. The price of an item is used. Yep. Ooh, wee. Gonna take a bunch of stuff that ain't much. Now let's just exit the port or attempt to. I always hate games like this when it comes to like all the different things you got to keep track of. It's like, I like really simple games personally. I mean, that's why I've never been a big fan of RPGs. I like pretty simplistic stuff when it comes to my games.
Always have. Where are we going now? through the cave. Visit my childhood village. a month up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred. Ah, you bitch. You level up? Wasn't he a two when we first got over here? All I had was one piece of candy on him. I use this. Grin and bear it. We got things to upgrade here.
to use blaze press down the input have found to the ability Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it. Drawing you closer. Let's get our quick travel. Let's see. Iron <clears throat> Man. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you've become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long lost past, like whispers in the wind. Oop. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. <laughs> Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. <laughs> he thinks you should really know how to swim by now. <laughs> and he'll be on Do it. How small I am. Just chucks me in there too. You can swim in most waters. While in very deep water, you'll slowly lose key energy. When you're out of it, key, you'll drown. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? Way to go. Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Okay. Judging by your Mooma's look, it's Is that my mom in this game? My sorry, my Mooma? You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. You should know. Practice makes perfect. She'll see you at the village square. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the okay. end, too. Here's another familiar Gizmo. face with lots on his mind. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. Am I? You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. He wonders what usefulness you found. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. Okay. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good... Alright. 
Welcome to crafting. Here you can modify existing weapons and armors, or if you're feeling creative, create entirely new weapons from scratch. With the right pieces, you can craft your own weapon. To start crafting your weapon, first select the base. This defines which type of weapon you will craft. There are three different kinds of melee weapons, brush, one-handed slash, and two-handed slash. To continue crafting your weapons, select the handle slot. <laughs> A banana. <coughs> to select the handle you want in order to be able to craft your weapon. I think I was one of the highest ones, right? No, this one. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent. Look, I say I'm awesome. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She says it's not only about this moment and where you are going. <sighs> you may. have to find yourself first, then everything else will follow. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. All right. They look determined. Better watch out. Their ass whooped. He asks you to stop right there and he says that it's not too late for you to turn back though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. They push each other to become better, and sometimes someone gets pushed down. Oh, the you're way. gonna get it, boy. You now. I beat them though. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. The most important thing is that you're okay. Here 
as someone close to heart, doing what he does best. Popsy? He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. He wishes that was true for your Moomer too, but guiding the village into the future and teaching Wang Fu to her disciples seems more important for every day. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. I'm gonna get in trouble with Moomsy, Mamza, Moomas. Like, how do they pronounce it again in this game? He's curious to see what you found. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bionucleus pool and refresh his DNA. When looting, you will find add ons. These can be crafted onto an item to increase the stats of the item. To upgrade armor and clothes with items, select a slot and add on and press square. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp. You should take it with you. Wear it to practice. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent. Yeah, can say I'm awesome. Talented everything I do. I'm the gifted child. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. Practice my Wong Fu here. little ninja here oh I can't breathe out my nose this morning your Muma says you did well today she's so proud of you that's all she's ever asked of you been working on a present for you with the help of gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've just right, I have. Am I supposed to catch this thing? Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see. You're lucky to have such a fine helper with you. Your moon <gasps> says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. That's true. I am tired, but it has not She's been much so of a day yet. Made the most of it. Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. A little puppy dog just sleeping here on the floor. I'm like, must be nice. Nothing could stop Luma Lugan from setting the world on fire. Oh, 
How are you sleeping when they're raining that much inside? Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. Like pouring on the inside of this place. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Wasn't much of a quick time event either. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Uh oh. These quick time events are too quick. Waiting for the quick time here. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. Dang. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. Dang. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. 
It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Now craft weapons and modify your gear in the crafting menu. Oh, so we, we must not have it unlocked before. Crafting parts. It's going to take a bit of scavenging to come up with scrap for that. It's all about how it's cut. Do I have to have stuff to add, do the add-on too? I don't know if I'm gonna like this craft idea. Yeah, I don't know about the crafting. The tribe's caught a fluffy hog. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. I'm glad I'm playing this on fucking easy. The Gladstone Origin. They've received news a Ronin had strengthened their ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. A group of myriad crusaders already headed out to Jagni's Mercadorpus outpost and are waiting for you there. You should hurry there and help them best the outpost. You complete them. From this point on, the myriad is unbroken. Nice. Use the upgrade points on again. I 
Kung Fu, right? Toxanol was something called a corporate juggernaut, and our world still bears the marks of the massive ecolog. Look, an emergency box. Wow. Neat. Bet that knuck makes a tight fist. Oh, world knuck fist. You found the clunk fist. This powerful tool can be used to punch through walls. It can even be used as a weapon. It can be equipped from the gear menu. You found a new weapon. You can now. Unlock special attacks. Yep. Use the knock fist. Well, you have to equip it first. Funk the wall. Switch weapons. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? I can see it. Hitting an enemy with a special attack fills one of the Super Wong Fu icons to the left of your character when the icons are full. What are you talking about? That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxanol Corporation made this place, and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Toxanol never cared about the waste, as long as they didn't have to pay to clean it familiar to it. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. Couldn't stand another hour of daylight. This corner of the world is called Bricktown. A flush stu seems like the tighteners on the piping need to be unturned correctly to drain the flush stool. Like maybe? That's the kind of trouble you really want to wash away.
Uh, it's like I'm still getting over the... You look ready. Wonder if there's a uh, place to pee on around here. Oh, let's try and figure it out. You found the whereabouts, the deepest, darkest forest in the land, sometimes hard to see for all the trees. Shouldn't take much. Don't lose your way in the black. Good thing there's no, uh, none of these guys had any loot on them. Kind of lame. That's a Jagni tribe outpost. Is that where we're supposed to go? But that's where we're supposed to go. The fuck? Where did it come from? Y'all free to go? Ah. Getting light up in this bitch. That little dot. Mercadorpus outpost, a Jagni tribe stronghold. Don't mind me just marking my territory here. Says it's time to set the outpost free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to the rival captain. Freedom is not worth having in a world that's doomed. Here's the first line of defense. That's 
a bomb blower. Whirly wheel. I call it by its scientific name. Out here speaking Latin. Spin the twirly wheel and open that drain. That was it. Okay. Everything's clocking together. Don't just rattle those keys. Keep going. That cage is holding a helper. I'll get the helper. We could use all the helper we need. The hamburger. The prison. They never lost hope you'd come, but weren't sure if they'd last long enough to see it. Says the tribe's been hard on them. Wants revenge on those who caged them, but trust you. They should join to fight us. We want the revenge. Terminator Fung Fung Rasper. Got some more of this shit. A sharpshooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. Stay clear of the red ray. Here's the second line of defense. Red means danger. shoot smack it to okay. get a barrel out of it then hit it toward the gate and blast it that looks splody shoot it and watch it kaboom you're in almost that looks splody be on it the outpost belongs to your tribe that's it that's it <laughs> He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. You will eventually. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. You'll fold eventually.
Each tribe has its own tribal weapon. If you defeat a rival tribe, you will acquire its tri its weapon. By helping your own tribe, you've acquired its weapon. You are now aligned with a tribe. You can decide to switch your allegiance and ally with a different tribe. Go to Tribe 4 and talk to their Shifu, your ally. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've uh, figures the honor belongs to the tribe, too. Out of okay. He had a I don't know what happened there. Along with the it just like tribe. jumped. But it remains to be seen what the future holds for your alliance. A little unsmooth. You seem to PS4, I gotta say. Values as the Myriad tribe. You both have the same optimistic outlook on life. At least for now. But out of date emphasizes that solving the tribe conflict won't matter unless you help make a stand against the world eaters. That doesn't sound good. Out of date's forebodings are justified. The jumbo puff needs to be taken care of. He says the time has come to confront Already? the jumbo wow. puff at the end of the West Route. Gizmo is working on making his mecton strong enough to endure the oxygen deprived dead zone all the way up to the World Eater. You should get over there and see what you can do to help. gone from being late to being early. Let's see. Go visit Gizmo, I guess. Where's fall damage game? Dude, why does that pop up there? Pops up like there's going to be something to interact with. Yeah, what the hell is that? That's a gnote. Easy prey for Looper Lupin. For everyone else, they're a perfect mount and easily tamed if they are kept fed. You found a pip plant. Glide under it to gather the pip seed. is here what how do I collect it I 
I don't know. That's a resource totem. A monument left behind by those that picked scrap, trying to keep the area clean. Found a scrap totem. Bash it with your weapon and gather materials from it. Okay. Nope, no fall damage. Good to know. The chug yard. Okay, how do I get in? The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but the Toxinol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here. They, they can carry you. You're on the right track. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that much. Hunting for Gizmo. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprockets. Easy enough. Nice and clear out today. Bumper bonkers busy ram banging the door. This is your chance. Be on this real quick, though. Let's see. Yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Okay. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. What was I supposed to do? That paid off. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. Huh. 
The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Makes sense. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. It carries so much hate, and its insatiable hunger has only increased over the years since it claimed revenge on your parents. He understands history made Lupa Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo encourages that. You should forgive. But never forget. It'll provide some comfort to your soul and keep the memory of lost loved ones in your heart. And that's flame! Wait, no! Uh, bright light blinds! It's, it's dangerous! I've got all the cold sick burns you need, Dark. Oh, do you have to insult me over this? I don't have to. But I want to! Okay. Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. Grateful to you for coming back and doing your best to change things. You were the only chance they had. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seemed so centered and so seeking. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present. The you know, just fixing stuff on the fly. Is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the mecton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mecton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Pup. There are more crates from before the apocalypse left out in the wild. Easy to find if you keep an eye out. You should be able to gather enough scrap to upgrade the Mecton from them. Okay. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. You discovered a hazard zone. These zones are vast areas covered in deadly hazards. You can only withstand the hazard for so long before it kills you, so be careful. Hazards come in several types. Biocontaminated, cryogenic, incinerary, radioactive, and the oxygen deprivation dead zone. Your gear and the resistance you chose during your character creation... Determine how long you can survive in the hazard zone and how much damage you take from a hazard weapon. You might get a killer headache from this. That's the leftover you're looking for. Now where am I supposed to go?
What? I start falling through it, but like, what am I supposed to do? Just restarts the whole game, and I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Long reload. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Tired, man. I really am. Could have napped during this reload. Be on the watch for a way out. Balance is the key. You found a biocontaminated container. Collect the bio blobs and use these to unlock mutations. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, I'm just going to take a nap real quick. See you in about an hour. I try not to die. Key words there, though. <sighs> Don't blow air, you'll need it. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize that we were. I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Poop. All right, we're going to be quick here. Gotta be very quick. Uh, go as soon as it loads in. Come on, load in so we can go. Sit down too long, you might not get up. You found McTon parts box. Game is dark. Like hard to see. Okay.
and gizmet. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun, and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. He made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. The best way to find Squips is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find Squips. He noticed the Jumbo Puff has a short attention span, so the script should distract it long enough for you to inflict some damage. Customize the Mictron, jump on and use it. Okay. But, uh, I'm gonna take a break here. I'm going to take a break here and, um, well, I guess we'll go to the checkpoint. It's a new day to you. Might as well enjoy it. John can't cross oil pools, but can use it to remove oil. Okay. Grease Monkey's Mekton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? Might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. In the old world, Roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. That over there is Steepo Deepo, the cliffside that Moon hangs on to. All right, now this is where I'm going to bounce for the time being. Um, I'm going to leave for a little bit. I will come back and um, okay, so these little yellow dots are the waypoints. Okay. So uh, when we come back, we will venture further into well, I, I probably won't play Biomutant again today. I'll probably play some Magic the Gathering, but I'll play some Biomutant probably tomorrow. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I might play a little bit of this later today. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, if you ever want to watch these, me play these games live, you can head over to Twitch. There'll be a link in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I'll be playing games live over there. If you're watching this on Twitch or on the playback of Twitch, you can head to the YouTube channel, uh, to the links to the YouTube channel, or this will be uploaded at a later date. And uh, I will see you all this afternoon. Peace.